If you're looking to get a gaming monitor for free or for like very little money, something like that, sometimes you can get it for free, depends, but something like this may work very well for your situation. And these things are called CRT monitors, that's uh, CRT, like cathode ray tube, uh, as in that is actually what it is, so it is very much like that. But anyways, it's even capable of, these ones are capable of higher frame rates than normal, higher even than the laptop. So if you want to play some high frame rate games and things like that, then it may just be a good option to go with. We'll take a look at it today. Also, sorry about any fan noise you happen to hear in this video. It's um, because I'm running games and stuff, I need the fans on the computer fan definitely, and sometimes the additional fan as well. So let's say you want to do gaming, and you don't have a lot of money, you need a monitor, and what are you going to choose for a monitor? What is the minimum that you need for a gaming monitor? Basically for a gaming monitor, there's three things you want to look at. There's, first of all, well, four things. First of all, does it actually work? Does it actually connect to the computer you want it to connect to? But assuming it's actually going to connect, there's three things you want to look at. There's the resolution, there's the frame rate, which is the biggest thing in gaming, and there is the coloring. Now, if in addition to doing gaming, you want to do YouTubing or live streaming or whatever, then you're gonna have to look more into the coloring side of things. And by, what I mean by that is what do the colors look like? Because when you're not trying to make something look nice, when you're just trying to do gaming and stuff, you don't need like picture perfect colors and the exact everything. It's nice, it's a benefit, but you don't need it. But the two main things you want to look for in a gaming monitor are the resolution and the frame rate. Resolution is a measure of how many pixels there are in the screen. So like how many pixels across versus how many down. So for example, a high definition video is 1280 pixels across and 720 down. And that's your standard low level HD. And then you get up to 1080, which is 1920 by 1080 and then you can get into like 2K and 4K and things like that. Personally, I'd recommend a minimum of a 720 capable screen, 1280 by 720. It really depends on what game you're going for though, because some games are um, okay with a lot smaller resolution, and other games are not so much. Other games are like, they have a minimum that they can do, and sometimes it's uh, rather large. Depends on the game, you'd have to look at what the minimum requirements are for resolution, but frame rate is the biggest thing when it comes to games. The reason for that is frame rate is a measure of how many images per second that the screen can do. So essentially what frame rate does is you want, when you're playing a game, you want it to be really smooth. You don't want to be like, you're moving the character and he's like jerking around and stuff, you know, like jerking around. He, you want it to be smooth. And so your standard average frame rate is 30 frames per, th frame, <laughs> <laughs> Try to say that without getting tongue-tied, say that really fast. Um, 30 frames per second is your sort of standard frame rate. What you really want though is more like 60, because 60 is high frame rate, it's smooth, it's um, all that kind of stuff. Assuming your computer can actually run the game at 60, then, but like 30 is kind of the minimum, 60 is what I'd recommend. If you want to go even higher than that, then there's a lot of monitors that do, like, if for like expensive monitors that do like 144 frames per second or 120, something like that, just to get ultra smooth. And it's actually surprising for frame rate what you can get out of an old screen like this. This screen is, how old is this thing? It is, well, it's definitely been around at least 10 years, probably 15, possibly even 20. I'm not sure exactly, because it was around uh, for as long as I can remember. <laughs> this actually is a ViewSonic E771, if any of you guys want to look it up. But let's take a look at what are some of the minimums that you need. Now, just a note, if you see any lines going across the screen or anything like that, that's just in the video. It's a weird thing with how these screens work in, um, in videos, because this screen works differently than that screen over there. That one is like, it turns the pixels on and leaves them on, whereas this screen it paints across the screen a whole bunch, and so if the painting is not quite in sync with the frame rate of the camera, then it gets a little bit of um, uh, lines and stuff like that. But the screen actually in real life, there's I don't see any effect of that just looking at it because your eyes adjust to frame rate and things like that. But anyways, as you can see here, we're currently in Minecraft, and if you can see in the, uh, the information, uh, what do you call those things, the F3 mode, the thing, it is currently running at 60 frames per second, that's 
up here in the uh, in the top corner there. 60 frames per second. We have currently enabled is the uh, whoops wrong button. Currently, I have enabled this setting. There's <laughs> there's the flashing I was telling you about. You don't actually I don't actually see that in real life. It's just in the way the camera interacts with it. But this setting over here, which is not here, where'd it go? There it is. Let's see if we can focus on that. Use VSync. So what VSync does, for those of you guys who don't know, it brings Minecraft actually in um, sync with the screen. So if the screen is running at 60 frames per second, then Minecraft will try to run at 60, and it actually does a thing where it runs at 60, and if it's running too slow, it'll jump down to 30, because that's half, rather than going, like all the place in between. It does it does go up and down a little bit, but roughly it stays around the same, so you can sort of see the idea from that from there that way. But anyways, from a screen this old, it fits full 720p HD resolution on this screen, which is actually quite surprising. At least to me it's quite surprising. You can see over here, this currently is in full screen, the Minecraft, and display 1280 by 1024. That's this these numbers over here. 1280 by 1024. As I said before, 720p, the uh, standard HD, is 1280 by 720, which means that a full 720 window can fit in this entire screen, which is excellent indeed. Actually, this is the actual screen that I used to use for gaming all the time, for months and months and months. Now this thing is connected to that desktop back there, if you can see it, the, uh, the Acer back there, for um, peripheral things and stuff. So it's not actually, I don't actually use it for gaming anymore, but I used to use it all the time. But anyways, that's, it's got two resolution modes that, at least that the Mac can pick up, and perhaps if you have a PC it can pick up more, but in this particular resolution mode, it runs at 60 frames per second, that's the only thing we can do with it, but if we change the resolution down, I don't know if I can actually show the software to change it on camera because of licensing and stuff like that, I don't, don't know if I can show that or not, but anyways, We've got here, I just changed it. As you can see, it's flashing a lot more. It You don't actually see that in real life. If anything, it looks smoother in real life, but it basically is just because it's running at a higher frame rate that's out of sync with the camera, so that's why it's looking weird. But anyways, 1024 by 768 is the new resolution, which is smaller. This resolution can't fit a full 720p window in it, but you may be asking, well, then why is, what is the point of it? Well, the reason is because on this old monitor like that, it can run, as you can see up here, with VSync being on, it can run at 85 frames per second. So that actually, a lot of uh, higher frame rate stuff are running at like 90 and stuff, and or 100 or 120. 90 is halfway between the regular standard high frame rate of 60 and the high, like ultra high frame rate of 120. And 85 is like really close to 90, so it's really great if you want to do high frame rate games and stuff like that, this can be a good way to do it. Actually, that monitor over there runs at a full hundred, and for those of you guys who are interested, that's a TVM, it's a uh, AS6S as you can kind of see on there, and what's that little uh, thing there say? It says something else. Um, that thing. But anyways, if you're looking for a monitor to do some high frame rate games on, and you, uh, you're looking for something you can just pick up anywhere that, uh, for like, fairly cheap, Something like this might just do the trick. Seeing as this thing goes all the way up to 85 hertz and this one goes up to 100 hertz. Now, granted, this one goes up to 100 hertz, I think, only on the 800 by 600 resolution. I don't quite remember because I haven't used it in a while. It's going to be coming into the, uh, the setup a bit later. But anyways, hopefully this video is helpful to some of you guys, giving you some ideas if you're looking to get a monitor for gaming, if you want high frame rate or if you want, like, whatever, and you want it cheap for not a lot of money because pretty much nobody wants monitors like these anymore. So if you find any, they'll probably be pretty cheap, and it can be a good way to save money because if it's still in good condition, like this one is still a really solid image, even after like 15 or 20 years, not sure exactly how long it's been around for, have to look up the model number on it, but it's still in really good condition, the image is still smooth and stuff like that. As they start to get older, sometimes you see the image is like warbling back and forth a bit and stuff like that. Um, which is not necessarily what you want, although it may still fit what you're looking for if you're just looking for a monitor that does things and if someone's just getting rid of it because they don't want it anymore, because, I mean, this thing is huge, you know? Most people don't want a huge monitor like this anymore, so you can probably get one for pretty cheap. But anyways, hopefully this video was helpful to some of you guys and all that kind of stuff, and uh, see you guys later.